Now here's a movie that I can't believe I'm saying that I was actually excited to see it. The film is called Penguins of Madagascar. And I have to say, I was not impressed. I've only seen one Madagascar movie, the last one, and I was not impressed with that film. I never really liked the animation, and I found the characters to be completely annoying. And it just felt like it was just always having to be on. It never really felt like it had a heart to it. Except for, I actually enjoyed the penguins in that movie. And I've never watched the cartoon, and I really have no desire to watch the first two Madagascar movies. But I was excited because of those major reasons, the penguins. And this movie was just centered on the penguins. And that's, I was actually thinking this was going to be some sort of weird prequel. It looks like what the Minion, Minions movie is going to be doing next year, where it's kind of a prequel to leading up when they met Gru. Well, I thought this one was a movie that was leading up where we meet the rest of the Madagascar team. But this, surprisingly, the beginning is a prequel, and then it fast-forwards to the end of Madagascar 3, and this is a spin-off movie, but it kind of is a continuation of this world that's been created by DreamWorks a few years ago. I really don't know. But I really liked how this movie begins. Now, if you've seen the trailer, you kind of have an idea where this movie begins. Of course, we get to meet these four penguins in the beginning of their lives, and I really like the voice work that's in this movie. Mainly, I like the penguins. I like the way they sound and their voice work. But I like that they put Werner Herzog, who actually made a film about Antarctica a few years ago. So he plays this documentarian filmmaker that's filming the penguins, and he's only in the beginning of the film. But it's just a really nice touch, especially for someone who's a huge fan of his movies. And I, I just love that, you know, even though he makes these serious movies, he definitely has a personality and a sense of humor and can put himself into a Penguins of Madagascar movie. So we fast forward to uh, the future and it's after all the Madagascar stuff. And now we're getting this story where it involves the Penguins, but it involves also the villain who is played by an octopus who is voiced by an amazing actor, John Malkovich. And before I really get into my feelings about this movie, I really loved the villain in this film. I really enjoyed the octopus. I really love John Malkovich. He's an amazing actor, and he's got an incredible voice. And I have to say, this is probably one of the best villains, animated villains that I've seen in an animated film in a very long time. I just really liked him. I liked all the colors. I actually really enjoyed the animation in this movie. And I love the penguins, they're funny, they're great, and they're all going to this huge adventure because the octopus is jealous of the praise that these penguins have gotten in the past, and so he wants to pretty much kind of use this device to change the penguins and make them monsters, make them evil, and then it goes on and on from there. And there's also this other team that involves a wolf and a polar bear and some other animals. I think the wolf uh, is played uh, by Benedict Cumberbatch, but that's really all the voices that I recognize, even though I recognize the polar bear. And it was really nice to find out, oh yeah, he is who he says, Peter uh, Sormar, or Sarsmar, or whatever from Fargo. Anyways, uh, you know, this was a fun movie. I, I can't, com I really have no major complaints. Yes, it is continually on. It doesn't really ever slow down, back up, and really form a heart until maybe the very end of the movie. Again, the animation is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's eye-popping. And I didn't see this in 3D, and I really don't feel like you need to go see this movie in 3D to actually really appreciate it and enjoy it. Because it has a great sense of humor. It has, a, it has a huge personality. And I counted four or five times. You might count more. But see if you can count how many times you hear celebrities' names in a very unique and weird way. They kind of use some of the celebrities' names. I think I count four or maybe five celebrity names in this film. There might be more. And, and that might be a fun drinking game that you can play with your buddies when this movie actually gets released on Blu-ray. You know, it's it's not it's not the greatest animated story ever told, and I didn't expect that going in. And I wish it would have pulled back a few times to really, you know, just have some more nice and tender moments to the movie. But for what it does, it's fun. It's perfect movie entertainment for the entire family. It's rated PG for action. There probably is some jokes that the kids won't get, that the adults will enjoy. So I think this movie can be appreciated by kids and their parents. So it's a movie that the parents can enjoy as well as the kids. I laughed a few times. I don't think it's the most hilarious comedy animated film ever, but it's much better than that Madagascar movie I saw a year ago. I just found that film... I didn't like that movie at all. I just don't, I don't like those characters. And I like those actors, but I don't like those characters. And luckily, they're really not in this movie. This is focusing more on the Penguins of Madagascar, which I believe has a TV show as well, though I've never watched that show. 
but I would definitely welcome if they made a if this movie was successful and they made Penguins of Madagascar 2, I would rather them go in this direction than the other direction. They made three of those movies. They'll probably make a fourth one. I'm not too excited about. But I actually would say I'm really excited to see these Penguins in action again on the big screen. Though they'll probably be more in action on the small screen. Uh, really, again, love the villain. I think the villain is the best aspect of this movie. Again, all the, all the characters are nice and they're fun and they're, they have a lot of different kind of flavors of personality and sense of and their sense of humor comes out every once in a while. I really like that and I think that really helps to make this film a very entertaining piece of work. Again, it is well animated. I mean, it is vibrant with colors and action and energy oozing gallons of energy. But I wish it was just a, a, a just, you know, slow down just a little bit and bring in the heart. I really would like more heart. I wish this film it has some heart, but I wish it had more heart to it. But for what it is, it's fun. It's exciting. It's entertaining. It's definitely worth price of admission. Again, I did not see it in 3D, so I don't feel like you need to go see it in 3D to, to appreciate it, to enjoy it. But it's a good film. And I really enjoyed it. I am glad I had some excitement for it. It lived up to the expectations that I had. And for that, I'm going to give Penguins of Madagascar, I'm going to give it three stars out of four. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to WeLiveFilm. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you've enjoyed this movie review, please click right here. Subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. What did you think? Did you see Penguins of Madagascar? What do you think of Madagascar? Do you love it? Do you like the penguins? Whatever, you know, put down in the comment box below what you thought about this film. If you, if you didn't like it, I'd really be interested to know. Thank you so much for watching. In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And I'll talk to you in my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you, my friends.